Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Narset. And why are we talking about Narset, Princess Narset? Well, she was never really a princess to begin with. And her price tanked beyond recognition. Like, if you said Narset was by far the most important card, uh, or the most expensive card, in a, and people felt like she would be modern playable and all that fun stuff. If you said that before she was released, people would have said, yeah, that makes sense. But if you say that now, people will just laugh at you. Now, are there cards in Magic Origin like Narset? Yes. In particular, the five Planeswalkers are very similar to Narset. They are obviously Planeswalkers, and they're all very hyped right now. And their price points are much higher. I would assume that there's one hidden gem among the five. Maybe one or two, but the other ones will tank in price when they see absolutely no play. And the reason Narset is no good is she sees no play. And you might say, oh, well, she sees play in this deck and that deck. Well, not $40 worth of play. So the lesson that you need to learn from Narset is that, first of all, pre-ordering is just, if you're pre-ordering the most expensive card in the set, what do you expect will happen? If you pre-order a card for $40, how is it going to grow? What mythic in today's Magic the Gathering has stood the test of time at $40? Elspeth did it, Jace AOT before the, you know, Dodak did it. Um, I don't, I'm trying to recall if there was one card. Voice of Resurgence is probably the only card in my memory uh, recently that has kept a $40 price tag and higher, but it didn't begin at $40, right? What began at $40? Gideon, come get crass, I think began at like $25, $40. Anyway, when you look at something like Narset, you gotta be very careful. And are there many Narsets in this set? Leave a comment below what your uh, Narset is, meaning what card that you feel like is very expensive now, but will not see play. There's gonna be tons of her. By definition, pre-orders are generally more expensive than what the card will be six months from now. Now, people always talk about that one card, that collective company card, or a, what other ones recent? I guess Dragon Lord, the Dragon Lords, and say, oh, well, you know, look at the price of those cards. That's the minority of cards. The majority of cards will have an effect that Nar I will call the Narset effect where they are overly hyped, they are overpriced, and they go down and they plummet four months, you know, four weeks later, they just plummet way down in price, and you're playing a game. If you open a Narset, you open a Liliana, you open a Chandra, you open a Jace. I know one of them will be valuable. I don't know which one. And you're gonna play a game called, let me try to get rid of this Planeswalker as fast as I can for value. Um, and that's exactly the game I played. And it, it's a, a fun game, uh, not for everybody involved, but you know, if you get rid of it, it's a good game. If you don't get rid of it, it's a bad game. Anyway, bye guys.